Top 10 Best Linux Distros Linux has only under 3% share on laptops or desktops market. You can find 278 different Linux distribution for any purpose. Linux distros are the most dominant operating system in the server world, including among hosting providers, because of their lightweight and package managers. Windows and Macos are built in-house by the companies that sell them. Linux is different in this case. Being an open-source operating system, it opens up room for anyone with a desire to create their own operating system to actually do so without a lot of programming knowledge. Create own Linux operating system without a base by using the Linux kernel code. In this video I tell you which Linux distros or Linux operating system are best. Number 10. Tails. Tails is a live operating system that you can start from a USB stick or DVD. This means you can use any system without leaving any trace behind. Promising to preserve your privacy and anonymity, Tails helps you use the internet anonymously and circumvent censorship. The operating system routes all your browsing traffic through the Tor network, preventing your data from being open to snoopers. Tails is supported by partners such as DuckDuckGo, Freedom of the Press Foundation, and even Tor itself. Number 9. Fedora. If you want to work consistently with free software, you should take a closer look at Fedora. Because the distribution that originated in Red Hat relies exclusively on open source programs. Number 8. Manjaro. Manjaro Linux is a notch Linux based distribution. It is very beginner friendly thanks to many pre installed programs. The Arch Linux based distro elegantly manages the balancing act between high individual adaptability and simple usability. However, Manjaro does not necessarily come up with the most innovative Linux features, as the focus of the system is more on functionally proven functions. Number 7. MX Linux. MX Linux is based on Debian and Antix. The latter distribution in particular ensures that you can install MX Linux effortlessly on an older PC, as the demands on the hardware are very low. MX Linux is set up with all that a beginner user would need while keeping the UI very simple, clean, and lightweight. Number 6. CentOS. Based on Fedora and Red Hat, CentOS creates a stable server system that can be used by organizations that want a strong server distribution without the high costs involved. CentOS is the right fit if you want to build a server. Number 5. Elementary OS. Elementary OS looks like Mac OS. The distro comes with a small selection of software that covers many daily use cases. Music and video players, image and document viewers are on board as well as browsers and messengers. You can install new software with just a few clicks of the mouse via the software center. Countless well-known open source and free web tools are available for download here free of charge. Number 4. Linux Mint. This distro is based on Ubuntu Debian and has various desktop environments. Mint is characterized above all by its beginner friendliness and its chic design. Thanks to the support of proprietary software such as Adobe Flash, the distro can also handle multimedia content very well. Number 3. OpenSUSE. OpenSUSE is among the most versatile distros on the market that is good for users of all levels. This distro is able to target everyone because it has two different variants. One is meant for regular home users and the other for power users and developers. These two variants are very stable and suitable for running a Plex media server. Number 2. Popbos. Popbos Linux is a Linux distro designed to have minimal clutter on the desktop. The creators of Popbos System 76 specialize in building custom Linux PC, and they have managed to tweak the pop with the necessary improvements on the graphical interface. Forbes suggested Popbos is giving a good desktop experience and for games. Popbos is still emerging as a convenient tool for managing dual graphics options. Number 1. Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a Debian-based distribution. It is characterized by its high level of user-friendliness and good support for multimedia content. In addition, Ubuntu is very stable and it is not without reason that it is a fixture on the distro market. The software center is particularly helpful for beginners, as it can be used to install a lot of free software with just a few clicks and without a terminal.